Hi, I'm Magda from Ami Little Creature. This is second part of Amigurumi workshop and I present you once again pattern by Little Owl's Hat. Cute Owl. Recently I participated in Crochet Along organized by Little Owl's Hat on Ravelry. I would like to share with you my view on that project. The author is Julia Ogel and it is level intermediate. Pattern includes uh, crocheting and knitting, knitting hat and scarf. I put off these accessories because I want to sh tell you uh, something more about the project. Pattern is uh, written in USA terminology, but if you use UK, there is comparing both terms. While working, I was making photos of almost every step after working successive rounds and stages and I put it in stop-motion animation. It was really time-consuming consum and I hope you like it. I invite you to watch it after this short introduction, but first I tell you something about this all. Materials I used the main yarn it is Nako Paris, it is white fluffy yarn and for this yarn I used a crochet hook 3 mm. Additional yarn, it is Yarn Art Jeans, a color white, pink and beige and I used crochet hook 2.5 mm for this yarn. And for a hat, scarf and boots. Uh, I probably used Red Heart Soft Baby Steps, um, but I'm not sure uh, because I removed the label some time ago and couldn't find it. So sorry for that. Um, firstly, I made uh, swatches of two yarns, Nako and uh, Yarn Art uh, Jeans, as it was indicated in the pattern. A finished uh, size of the all is uh, 22 centimeters. Following the pattern, I started from feet. I made uh, the socks with yarn art jeans. It was recommended to put the wire because project is based on wire frame. I used uh, Core Copper PVC electrical wire. Uh, 3 mm in diameter. Wire comes from feet to head. It fills wings, which consists of three feathers, and wire is in every feather. Particular parts of wire are joined together in head. Wire ends and joinings are wrapped around with electrical tape to secure them. Eyelids, tail and ears are made separately. After crocheting the body, I made the head also separately from bottom up, leaving a hole for wire frame from the bottom. I sewed the, uh, the head to the body to stabilize it. Then I brushed up the body, wings and head using velcro to make them more fluffy. As for head details, I did needle sculpting to make eye sockets. Pattern includes accurate description how to do that. And eyes. Eyes are made from a piece of white felt cut in oval shape. Each eye is 2.5 cm long. Then I glued these eyes into the eye sockets and then tinted the area around the edge of felt using black pastels and glued black bits in the top corner of each eye. 
I made these beads from safety eyes. I sewed the ends of safety eyes, leaving this front part. Then I glued it using epoxy pull. Finally, I sewed the eyelids. Big is from brown polymer clay. It is my second attempt with the clay. The first was the black nose of Shih Tzu Puppy. I put the link in video description to the puppy post on my blog if you would like to read it. After I shaped the beak, I made a little hole from the back using jewelry eye pin because I wanted to sew the beak to the head. And I baked the beak in the oven at 130 degrees for 30 minutes. When it got cold, I put a pin with a quick drying glue and sew it to the head. To strengthen the joining, I also glued it using epoxy pull, so I can't show you that, how it looks like because it is glued. The last step, it was tinting the hole. I tinted it around the beak, the bridge of the nose, around the eyes, a tip of the tail, ears, chest and wings. I also drew the dots. For tinting, I used black crayons wrapped on sandpaper and uh, cover the parts of the owl with a brush and this uh, dust from uh, the crayons. Additionally, I wrapped in oil pastels to achieve more intense effect. For example, these dots are from oil pastels. The owl was uh, Done, so I started making accessories. I show you accessories. I made this crocheted mint boots and then brushed up them. I knitted a hat and scarf. As for hat, I cast on 60 stitches, it's a rectangular shape and then I worked 23 rows and uh, I sewed the edges, the back seam and the top part and I added uh, tassels. Uh, the scarf row consists of uh, 8 stitches and I adjusted rows to wrap the scarf twice around the old neck. Finally, I sewed snap and butterf butterfly uh, button to embellish it. So I put on this scarf it is easier to put on this scarf when I added a snap and here we have the hat and of course boots Okay, uh, here is uh, the owl and now it's time to show you this stop-motion animation. In next part of Amigurumi workshop I'll present you my own design but I won't reveal you what it uh, will be. It is a surprise. See you, bye!